Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set the clock, set the auto brew, change the warming plate temperature, and change how long this coffee maker stays on, the auto shut off, on this Ninja 10 Cup Specialty Coffee Maker, model number CM401. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is set the time, the current time in your house. Okay, so setting the time, turn the coffee maker on, you're going to press and hold the hour or the minute button and it's going to start flashing. So press the hour button, it starts flashing. Now let go and now press the hour button to change the hours. And same with the, so it has AM and PM. And then use the minutes. Now just let it sit and it will memorize the time. It'll stop flashing. So next I'm going to show you how to set the delay brew. So if you want to wake up in the morning to a fresh pot of coffee, turn the coffee maker on. Hit the delay brew. That's going to flash a different time. Now select what size you want to brew. You can, you can brew a full pot, half a pot, or into a travel mug even. So let's do a full pot. Now change the time. Make sure you, you're aware that it has an AM and a PM. So I want this to start at 5, 5, 10 AM. And then select if you want a classic brew, a rich brew, or over ice. I'm going to do a classic brew. Then you can come up here while it's still flashing, hit the delay brew, and it's going to memorize the, the time that you set, and it's going to turn that delay brew light on. So when you go to bed at night, that's how you have to leave it, with that delay brew light on. So if your drip stop, make sure your drip stop is open. It's going to beep at you if your drip stop's not open, and don't turn the coffee maker off. Turning the coffee maker off, it beeps at you also. So you have to leave the... See, it did turn it off, but it beeped at me. But it also turned the delay brew off. So I gotta turn the coffee maker back on, hit the delay brew. Yep, that's the time I want. I want a full pot, classic. Hit the delay brew one more time, it beeps at you. Now leave it alone just like this. When you go to bed, this is how you have to leave it. Make sure your water reservoir's got water in it, you've got coffee in the coffee filter area, and your craft is empty. I have made a pot of coffee in the morning and I forgot to empty the craft, it will pour over and you'll wake up to a big mess. So say you want to cancel it, you want to sleep in, just hit the delay brew one more time and it turns that light off. And then you can turn the coffee maker off. Now let's set the auto off. So after this is done brewing a pot of coffee or a cup of coffee, well mainly when it does a pot of coffee, it keeps the warming plate on for zero to four hours, but we can change that. So turn the coffee maker on, press and hold this stay warm button now that's, that's the default is two hours. So I can change this all the way up to four hours or zero so that it turns off automatically after it's done brewing. So let's, you can do two hours, then you can do 15 minute increments in between two, so two hours and 15 minutes. So then it beeps at you, it memorizes that. Now it says hi, this is the warming plate. That's the temperature of the warming plate. There's two temperatures. So let's do that again. Press and hold this button here. That's the time that it's going to shut off automatically. You have to wait for that to stop flashing. Now that's high and low. If you want low, you got to press the, the medium or the M button, minutes. If you want high or low. And that's the warming plate temperature. And then just let it stop. It'll, it'll stop flashing and it beeps and it memorizes it. So we've adjusted four things. The time, the auto brew, the auto off, and the warming plate temperature. Check out my detailed video where I show you how to make coffee. I, I do one, each one of these brews, over ice, specialty, classic. This is a very nice coffee maker. Thanks everybody for watching. 